Imagine over 9 million square kilometers of barren sand suddenly transformed into a paradise on Earth. The Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert, is no longer yellow. Now dense forests blanket North Africa, rainfall pours down and wildlife roams freely. This might seem like the best idea to save planet Earth, right? But the shocking truth is that the greenery of the desert could be the beginning of the end for other parts of the world. Why does the planet need this barren sand to survive? At first, the results will seem astonishing. First, we will gain a third lung for the planet, absorbing millions of tons of carbon dioxide, which could immediately halt global warming. Second, the Arab and African countries in the region will become the largest breadbasket in history. Wheat and vegetables will grow in places you never imagined. Third, deadly dust storms will disappear and temperatures in the Middle East and Europe will drop significantly. But nature's laws don't give you anything for free. Here's a surprising fact you might not believe. Did you know that the great Amazon rainforest thrives thanks to the dust from the Sahara Desert? Yes. Every year, winds carry millions of tons of phosphorus-rich dust from Africa across the ocean to fall as a vital fertilizer in the Amazon. Without this dust from the dead desert, the Amazon soil would lose its fertility and the world's largest rainforest would gradually begin to die. We've solved a problem in Africa, only to create a disaster in South America, and it doesn't stop there. The hot sands of the Sahara act as a driver for global winds. Transforming them into a cool rainforest would alter the course of hurricanes in the Atlantic. Rainfall might cease in some areas, while others that have been stable for thousands of years would be submerged. Nature exists in a very delicate balance, and the deadly sands of Africa are, in fact, a safety valve for the planet. Ultimately, it seems our planet knows exactly what it's doing, even if some parts of it appear uninhabitable. The Sahara Desert isn't just sand. It's part of the very pulse of this planet. My question to you today, if you could change just one thing about the world's geography, what would it be? And would you be prepared to face the consequences? Tell me in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so we can imagine together. What if?